okay, everybody's on board here. So I've had a couple people ask me, they're like, hey, what is Ice Ski Frankie Z? And I told them, let me give you the real rundown. Ice Ski with Frankie Z is about ski stories. It's ski news. Snow report. We go to webcams. We talk about different skiers. We also talk about skiing at different levels. But more importantly is, is do you love to ski? If you do, then you're in the right place. Do you love ski culture? You know, like when you go to the hill and you hear banjos playing or some cat singing Willie Nelson or some days you'll go up there and you'll have some guy on a uh, that's DJing playing all reggae or country music or will be playing something you've just never heard things like I don't even know what to tell you but cool stuff but it's 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 most of it's family friendly so this podcast is about my love of skiing and I like to share this with you I love being around the ski culture and the cool ski people that you meet. It's awesome. It's number one ski podcast for all levels of skiing. That's the bottom line. It's fun and it's exciting. So if you really enjoyed listening, subscribe, like the uh, video or subscribe to the video. But more importantly is, is that I just wanted to welcome you to what I ski with Frankie Z is. Busting in what t- today's show's about. We're going to head to some webcams. We have, uh, we're going to be going overseas to Italy. We've got two here in Arizona off of Route 66 that we're going to look at. We're going to also talk about Michaela Sheffrin, the American superstar. This girl's got more gold than a Las Vegas casino. And she's over in Italy right now competing in. We're going to kind of go over what's going on with her. And we're going to stay up with her this week. When I find people that are have a heart and are competitive, they're my people. People that just try so hard and want it so bad and then go out. And even when they win, sometimes that's not enough. They got to keep winning. Because, I mean, like this chick, she's... Some people win after one try and get a gold medal and they're done. This girl has like 44 just slalom gold medals alone. She has, she's the youngest Olympic slalom gold medalist. She has all these, okay, well anyway, we'll talk about her. She's really something. She's over in Italy. Then I got a music list that will blow your mind. I'm so excited about this part because... I had to put together something that I thought would be kind of uh, cool Italy. Not too European, more American because we want to represent our girl while she's over there. So I put together this this uh, music list starting at number five. Well, okay, we won't get into that yet. Do me a favor. If you're getting any value from this channel, if you dig listening to ski podcasts or for your boy Frank Diddy or whatever, if you're just... Uh, on the uh, out and about and you caught the podcast like it, subscribe comment, share it with people the way that we can blow this thing up is is by getting some people involved and talking about it listening to it so hit me up, let me know if you have something that you want to say if you subscribe hit the subscribe button and then leave me a little comment that says subscribe and I'll hit you back I also wanted to talk to you about some upcoming shows. Of course, I mentioned that we're going to be staying up on Michaela as she is uh, competing this week in Italy. We also have an upcoming show about my skiing at Snowball. I went up and I finally got on the road and it was just what a great experience. So we're going to have a show coming up about that renting demo skis not to forget the louis vuitton valentine's day special uh we're going to be doing and of course the nfl super bowl special uh will be happening of course we're hoping tampa bay takes this one it's in tampa bay it's going to be a great show on to the webcams 
I'm excited about the webcams because we're coming from Cortina, Cortina, Italy. And right now it's about 9.15 over there. It's just a beautiful town. The view shows the town with this great clock tower, wonderful lights shining off of it. It looks like they have some activities going down underneath the clock tower in kind of a city square area. The downtown, it almost looks like Christmas. It's lit up so beautifully. What a great place to be out there competing. And then I was watching a video with this guy walking around downtown uh, Cortina di Ampazio, Italy. And uh, he just was kind of like saying, hey, here's what's going on here. This is what this is. And it, it's such a beautiful place. It's such a, it's such a cool little place, man. Uh, but if you're competing, I have a feeling that uh, you see it a little differently than this guy that's walking around doing a little uh, walkabout through the town. But anyway, it's called Live Walking in... Cortina di Ampezio. It's about four hours long. <laughs> I didn't watch all of it, by the way. And then we're busting over here to sunrise. 10,600 feet up in the middle of Arizona. And it looks like they have a pretty good crowd. The, they've got this great four-man chairlift that dumps off. It moves pretty quick, too. That's the cool thing about it. They're moving a lot of skiers. And it's one of five lifts that's there at, uh, I'm sorry, one of eight lifts that's there at the uh, uh, Sunrise. I ski about five of their lifts, actually. There's two of them that are um, kind of beginner's lifts. Or just, anyway, so there's two that I, or three that I don't necessarily hit up, but they've got five that are just awesome that move around real well. This webcam here shows the top of... Uh, shows at the very top of the mountain looking as the lift's dumping off. People just having fun. Moving over to Arizona Snowball. Oh, what a day. The sky's blue. People out, look at everybody's happy. They're smiling. The crowd's light. The gondola, the Arizona gondola's moving. Okay enough of the webcams that's happening that is awesome um i wanted to play something for you and hopefully i can let you view it as well and what it is is my girl competing over in italy michaela sheffern and what got me interested in her just kind of digging into her a little bit because she's been off she's suffered a personal tragedy Her father passed away it was dramatic uh, I guess she had to take a little time off and understandably when you have some things that will happen in your life uh, both good and bad uh, you know, some of them are births some of them are marriages some of them are uh, deaths, tragedies, and they all change the scope of things. Anyway, she released a great little video of her playing guitar and singing a song in dedication to her father, which was a really interesting. I just said, wow, that was cool. And then I saw an interview with her talking about going to compete in Italy, and what I'm going to do is play this for you. Hopefully this will, thing will come up right and it will be the one I'm hoping for. Where she talks for about 28 seconds about competing and her mindset. Because I thought, how would you talk to this athlete? And I thought, well, you know, you talk to her like a father. You talk to her like a coach. You talk to her like a friend. You talk to her, you know... Uh, couple of ways it could come at her and maybe all those ways it just different times in the course of your conversation but anyway here's the video let's see if it plays Just witnessed 
arguably the greatest season of all time. 17 wins, 4 crystal clubs. Michaela's masterpiece. Schifrin is not racing this week. She experienced an immeasurable loss with the unexpected passing of her father, Jeff. Here you go, Kayla! It takes time to heal. It takes time to get motivated. I also feel like I'm a bit of a different person, and I haven't had the same sort of happy-go-lucky, I-can-do-anything attitude that I've had before. In order to go back to the same mindset that I always had, I, my dad's a teacher, so I'm not going to be able to go back. I have to find a new mindset. This World Champs definitely is a different position. It's just really doing my best to get in the right state of mind to put my most aggressive spinning out. It's such a roller coaster, and some days I feel so inspired. Michaela Schifrin's return to the top of the podium. Her first win in 11 months since her father's passing. And some days I'm really, really well. But the fire is there. It's not a raging inferno. Um, but we're stoking it. Good girl. Este año, So, let's see if this is loaded up here. This is a little something that I caught that I thought I'd play for you as well. It had to do with, let's see here. I, uh, I had a couple of videos here. <laughs> Apologize, I just lost it. And well, it was talking about her competitor, and her name is Petra Lova, and Petra Lova is the top competitor. And what she said about that was, "There's like 30 of us competing here." we're all competing for the same thing we're here trying to compete for gold for number one nobody's she didn't say it in these exact words here now I'm kind of out of living but she didn't say nobody's going for third or whatever that didn't happen so Okay. I'll get this thing one of these days. <laughs> Here we go. Michaela's masterpiece. Schifrin is not racing this week. She experienced an immeasurable loss with the unexpected passing. So we'll watch this again. Okay, 
Love that. So we're going to be following her progress, ready to bust into the top five music list. They're like, how do you decide these? Where are you getting this music from? How did you come up with the list? And the bottom line is I just think about skiing. You know, I'll tell you what it's like. I'm already on the website looking at lift tickets for March and April because I know the spring skiing in Arizona is going to be amazing at the Arizona Snowball. And they're supposed to have like $29 tickets, I think, at the end, towards the end of the season, which is amazing Um, because we always get a really good last dump the last part of March, first part of April middle of april sometime around there and they're going to be opening on thursday fridays and saturdays and sundays those four days going into april and i understand them not opening during the course of a monday or tuesday or wednesday because that's expensive i'm sure to operate but anyway so moving on here the music list so i pull this music out of my experience with growing up with my family we always were playing records buying 45s going to the music store we used to go to this place called circles records here in phoenix there was a circles records and flagstaff we used to bang out a couple of vinyls at each of those it was kind of cool and So I listened to a lot of different types of music and I grew up with a lot of different types of people. So I have an experience with different things. So as I share these with you, some of them are old and some are new, but I hope that you give them a shot. Now I'm keeping track of this list so that when we get together, we can uh, share that and you can ask other questions. Or if you want to send them in the not when we get together, but in the comments, you can send questions that say, "Hey, what's up with this?" So I've had some people send me some DMs that were uh, uh, asking, "Hey, how about this song? How about that song?" And it's funny because some of them made it. So anyway, number five was something that I had on a list, and I moved up when somebody sent this in and says, "Hey, how do you like the cult?" She Sells Sanctuary. Coming in at number five by fan request as well as mine. And I dig the cult. In fact, I was in West Hollywood staying at the Standard, which Leonardo DiCaprio owns. And I was this young man kind of lost trying to find my way around. And a friend of mine named Mike LaRoque got me a job with this company called John Robert Powers Modeling and Acting. It was one of the funnest, best jobs. But anyway, so I was working in West Hollywood uh, doing some training and staying at the Standard and the cult was at the House of Blues right there on Sunset Boulevard. And, you know, I talk about regret and how you go through your life and there's certain things that you regret or that you don't regret you're like oh my god i can't believe that i did this you know you don't even know what the cost of it was anymore but so that was one of those things uh the cult i think the tickets to get in were 20 bucks you could go see the cult at the house of blues on sunset boulevard and i didn't go Yeah, I know. I have people that have just hit the ground right now. Bodies hitting the floor. Fainting because of what I just said. But yeah, I was like, I I was just out there just kind of staying alone. My boy Mikey was up in Pasadena and he wasn't in uh, Hollywood that night to uh, be able to go to the show with me. And so I just didn't go. It was crazy. But anyway, uh... Number 
four. Nirvana. Smells like teen spirit. Yeah, that is one that pulls in at a good number four. That that one could even rank higher sometimes. But moving on, number three. The Gang of Four. What we all want. Throw that on your music list and jam down the hill. Number two. A Jimi Hendrix classic. The Watchtower. Tell me if that isn't something that you just like. No kidding. I mean, it's been in movies. It's an old song. A lot of people know it, but put that on the hill. That's my opinion. Number one. I Stand Alone by Godsmack. Oh, what? I know it. I know it. Isn't that crazy? Godsmack made the list, and it made number one on the list. I'm hoping that our girl Michaela Sheffron is standing alone on that, that podium, taking the gold. Even if she's not, we're okay with that because there is a lot of competition, especially in Europe, especially for what she does in the GS and the, uh, and the slalom. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, we just want to say thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and like the channel. If you're getting some value out of this, if not, please leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about it. And we just want to tell you thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. This is uh, cooking here. I've got some ski videos that we're going to be talking about. I'm going to be showing. Uh, and we're going to have some fun moving forward with some other uh, upcoming podcasts that we're going to be throwing out. We have still hotels on Route 66. We're going to be... Uh, talking about Flagstaff, we're also going to be talking about maybe Holbrook and Gallup hotels. Uh, that's just something that I got in a couple of messages as well. Is has anybody stayed at this one hotel that's in Gallup? And they sent me a picture of it. I'll get back to you on that. And renting demo skis, spring break skiing. So thanks for listening. We'll look for you on the next one.